I don't think there's a, you know, a, a, an inch of grass on these football fields here that I, that I don't know about, that I haven't run over or I haven't played football on. Marconi was, was not only for me but for my whole family a, a second home. And my father played for Marconi, my mum and dad uh, met each other here at the Marconi Club. Uh, my mum was part of the first uh, social committee, was involved in you know, Marconi going from a tin shed to, to what it is uh, today, being one of the first to leave Marconi and go on in, in, in play in Europe. You know, I can honestly say that without uh, the Marconi Club and what it gave me, don't think I would have been able to achieve what I, uh, what I did. There's making your debut and then there's making your debut against Inter Milan at the San Siro. When I think about it, it's, it's there in front of my eyes. The game went so fast, probably too fast, growing up watching Italian football on TV and to be actually there now playing was, uh, was surreal and incredible experience. Wherever I went, I was always that kid from Bosley Park who you know, could play football and uh, you know, at that time Australian players were looked upon as being you know, kangaroos and koalas and I you know, wanted to change that perception of what you know, Australian footballers were really like. The advice that I would give to any kid who, who wants to play professional football is you've got to want it. You've got to be prepared to, to do what probably a lot a lot of young kids don't want to do and that's you've got to work hard, you've got to make sacrifices. It has to be an obsession, you, you, you've got to want to be the best and, and, and that requires you know, an incredible amount of sacrifice and effort. You know, not, not just one day, a one week or a month or one year, uh, over a number of years. Hey, coming back here uh, is a bit like coming home. I would come back uh, as often as I can um, and I was so proud uh, of where I'd come from, um, of where my roots were and that was um, Bosley Park, that was Club Marconi. You know, it, it is a place that, uh, you know, so many people who, who left their homes around the world, Italian families who migrated to Australia, uh, will feel like this is a, a second home for them and that's exactly how I feel and how I look at it.